G'day folks. A bit windy out here, but I figure I'll start the uh, Kelly and Lewis project off by giving it a quick inspection. Uh, a lot of ants inside it, and the sump's pretty much a swamp. The water. Piston's probably about halfway down the floor. But it still has potential for restoration. It's not as bad as those two. Like they're really bad. This one can be restored. Don't know about the bore though, that'd be the biggest point. I'll have to get the head off after cleaning out these ants and crap and then uh, see how that goes. See, this is where a wheelie bin would come in handy. Just park it under the crane, lower this into it and then fill it up with diesel or something. God knows I've got enough diesel and heating oil I could submerge this thing for months and just let it penetrate. I might end up doing that to a degree. <laughs> They're even in the carburetor. Damn ants. They make such a mess. See, they carry crap in to make their nests. Most of that dirt wouldn't have just gotten in there by itself. The ants have actually deposited it there. Same with the water gallery, it's full. All that crap in there is just stuck in the ant. Down in there. Just full of shit. That's perish rubber from the steel. shit in here. Get the air vac out and suck it all out. Or the air gun, blow it out. Just hope it's not rusted through. Alright, I'm just in the process of uh, stripping and freeing up the Kelly and Lewis. There's a lot of oil residue and crap around the spark plug hole, so maybe there isn't much corrosion in there. Wishful thinking, I know, but hopefully there isn't much corrosion in the bore. Um, I've freed up the rocker arms a bit. That one moves. I've got to drill that snapped off screw out of the uh, rail, the bar. That one moves sort of. It's tight, but it does. That'll free up. Uh, Carburetor looks alright. Something missing from the top though. Don't know what that would have been. Funny it doesn't have a bowl on it. I wonder if that had a little fuel fuel reservoir in it. It's supposed to bleed down to there. Uh, that's the governor. It's been busted long before I got it. Governor and flyweights are intact and free. Magneto drive and magneto mount. All one cast piece. Top cover. Inspection cover for the crankcase, which is full of nasty goop. But, yeah, that'll all be later. I just want to get this cylinder head off. These two nuts are already free. I've freed them up. I've just got to get this rail and rocker arms out before I can free the other two up. Well, about two hours later, we get the rockers out. Everything's intact and usable again. Uh, valves I'll address after the head's been through an electrolysis tank. I'm going to use electrolysis fluid to actually break free the rust in the valves. That moves, that doesn't. Now I can get to the head nuts here. Get them out. Push rods are tight as a drum. I don't know if they're supposed to be captive or not. But they're stuck. Maybe they're integral lifter and push rod assembly, maybe not. Two bolts there, but there's definitely no inspection cover to get to the uh, cam gear. I think you've got to do that through the crankcase after you take the, cr take the crankshaft and everything out. It'd be interesting. But let's get these head, bolt head nuts undone and lift the head off. The board has been full of uh, heating oil for a while now, so we might do something to break the rust free. Well, one more head nut to go. It's free, it just makes a hell of a racket. <coughs> Yeah, 
He's got to work him back and forth and get that spray into him. It's worked though. One stud came out, but the nut's loose on it. It's just binding up at the end. It's going to come off. It has to. Well, the head came off without a hitch. Really easy. Good old copper head gasket. <laughs> Doesn't show signs of even being blown. Very rigid push rods. And I was sort of right about them pickling it with a bit of oil in, in the bore. And this bore feels nice up the top. And down there, there's all this coagulated sump oil, like heaps of it. Just like in the crankcase, it's all gone gooey, but it's preserved everything. The piston is stuck. There's a lot of pitting and crud on the top of it. Something here might bite me. <laughs> I think it'd be well and truly pickled by now too, though. No spiders. But yeah, the walls of the bore feel remarkable. Now I took the head outside because I disturbed the remaining ant's nest. There's one up in the back of the passages that I couldn't clean out with the gurney. Valves open, that's the exhaust. Explains why so much water got into it, but the good thing is there's only rust damage up here. There's a spark plug hole that poured oil into it and let it go gooey. And I think it saved it. You can see where the water level was though. It's in remarkable condition. Yeah, if I can't get this engine to run again, I need to quit what I'm doing and just stick to playing with computers or something. And I can tell you now that ain't going to happen. This engine will work again. There's a ton of carbon on top of the piston. It's an old cast iron piston, which explains why it's locked up so hard. But the level of the layer of oil and crap hopefully has protected it enough that it'll break free. Uh, yeah, worst part, it, worst part would be if it's actually seized in the bore. But again, yeah, it's not bad. It'll run, it'll run again. That'll do for tonight. I'm going to fill the bore up with uh, more oil and let it sit. Thanks for watching.